Hello, it's Spock Sanctuary here to bring you a little knowledge about reptiles. We know it's been quite a while since our last video, but know that we're very sorry for that. We've just been so busy, but in the best way. As you know, it's our company's passion to share these amazing creatures with everyone. Therefore, we have created a list of the top five reptiles to own, especially as a first time reptile owner. So let's jump right in. Number five on the list of top five reptiles to own is the ball python, also known as the royal python. They were named ball pythons due to their habit of curling into a tight ball with their heads in the middle when they felt threatened. This allows them some protection while also being prepared to defend themselves. The name Royal Python came about due to the legend of African rulers wearing live pythons as jewelry. Ball pythons are native to West and Central Africa. They are also the smallest of the non-venomous constrictor African python species with a mature size of about three to five feet. However, males are usually slightly smaller. These snakes make great pets because they are relatively small and very gentle creatures. They also have a wide range of beautiful patterns and colors to enjoy. Number four on the list is the crested gecko. Crested geckos are a rainforest lizard species from the island of New Caledonia, found in the Pacific Ocean, just east of Australia and north of New Zealand. These lizards have a fringed crest that begins over their eyes and runs all the way down their back, hence the name Crested Gecko. They have also been known as the eyelash gecko due to their crest over their eyes appearing as eyelashes. Another interesting fact about these little creatures is that their tails do not grow back if they're lost, which is unlike most other lizards. Crested geckos, however, make great pets. One reason they are such great companions is because they're relatively low maintenance. They do not require additional heating, therefore just the heat of your cozy home will be enough to keep them happy. They also do not require bugs for eating. They can healthily survive off fruit-based meal replacement powders that are commercially made. However, these little guys really do love a variety of bugs, so those bugs would make the perfect little treats. Number three on the list is the corn snake or milk snake. They are both from Eastern United States. Corn snakes got their name due to their markings having a similar look to them as the kernels of maize or Indian corn. Milk snakes, however, got their names from a myth began by farmers. These farmers had cows that were producing less milk than normal, so they blamed it on these snakes coming into the barn and nursing off their cows. In reality, these snakes were just there to snack on mice. Corn snakes and milk snakes are both roughly the same size, ranging from two to three feet, with corn snakes potentially getting slightly bigger. They both sport a wide range of beautiful colors and patterns, along with being very easy to handle. The only main difference, from a pet owner standpoint, of these two snakes is that the corn snake tends to be a little less likely to act out under stress. However, a bite from either of these little guys would be nothing more than a pinch. Coming in second on the list is a leopard gecko. These geckos originate from the deserts of Afghanistan, Pakistan, India, and Iran. The name leopard gecko stems from their resemblance of a leopard due to their yellow bodies and black spots. Unlike most geckos, leopard geckos have movable eyelids this allows them to close their eyes. Leopard geckos make excellent first lizards. This is because they are very passive, easy to handle, and hardy. These qualities make them suitable for all ages to handle and care for. Leopard geckos also come in a variety of patterns and colors, more than just their normal yellow and black. Their small size of seven to eight inches allows them to have smaller enclosures, taking up less room in your home. And at the top of the chart are bearded dragons. Bearded dragons are from the mild deserts and arid woodlands of central Australia. They are also omnivores. Therefore, they eat a wide range of both plant matter and animal protein. The name bearded dragon is, not shockingly, from the spikes found under their chin resembling beards. 
These so-called beards can be flared out to indicate their various moods. The reason these creatures are at the top of the list is because they are also passive, easy to handle, and hardy, just like leopard geckos. However, they do tend to be a little more interactive with their owners, and they are not nocturnal. This means they are awake when you are and always ready to play. Though everyone has their own opinions on the matter, this is just some information we thought you could use to make your own decisions. All of these animals are amazing companions, no matter what their ranking was. And to make this even better, Spock Sanctuary actually has all of these reptiles. That means you can sign up for Showtime on our website, www.spocksanctuary.org, and meet some of these little critters for yourself. We even have a few of the animals listed in the video ready for adoption. The website is also very useful for a variety of things, from buying pet food or just learning about it, to boarding one of your existing reptile companions, or even just to gain knowledge about reptiles and our company. If you want to stay connected with our small business, be sure to give us a follow on Facebook at Spock's Sanctuary or on Instagram at Spock's.Sanctuary. Thank you for learning with us. See you next time.